morning lovely people it's currently friday february 16th 8 2 a.m and today i'm going to be bringing you guys through my productive college morning routine so obviously not every morning is the same some days i have 7 a.m lift and 9 a.m classes whereas today i have a 10 a.m class so this morning i have a little bit more time to like get up get myself ready and have like a real morning routine whereas like on days where i have to get up earlier i really prioritize staying in bed and i cut my morning routine down to like literally the bare minimum but i'm excited to hang out with you guys today i feel like it's been a really long time since I've done a productive morning routine so I'm excited to have you guys today also peep bibble on the back so the first thing that I do pretty much every morning without fail is put my contacts in and brush my teeth and wash my face and everything so I can go about my day this is our common room and here's our sink Me and my homie. Also, it looks like I went to straight war in my sleep last night. Like, I have simply never seen my sheets in my bed this disheveled. So now that we're done brushing my teeth, washing my face, and putting my contacts in, we're going to make my bed. This is something that my parents always encouraged me to do when I was younger and just really stuck with me. I really do believe that a good day starts with a made bed. Okay, so my bed is now 90% made, but it is not complete without my stuffed animal collection. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. I always start the year off with like one stuffed animal and then accumulate all of these different ones throughout the year. So this is the OG, weighted dino from Target that I got at the beginning of my junior year and he was my one and only. Then I went to Florida for Thanksgiving break to visit my grandparents and ended up getting these two jelly cats. We got acorn and peanut. They sit right here. Then for Christmas, my best friend Addie got me this mushroom. It's an inside joke, kind of long and hard to explain, but he has his right on the bed. And then, just recently, for Valentine's Day, my mom got me this radish, and radish's home is right here. So this is officially my bed all made. Right after I finish making my bed, I go to my desk, sit down, and take my morning vitamins. This is a critical step to my morning routine that I never, ever, ever skip. It's how I physically start my body off on the right foot every morning, just like how making my bed is starting my day off on the right foot mentally. So this is my little pill container. I like to do this in advance so I have all of them organized. This is my first batch of vitamins down the hatch. And then as for my my second batch of vitamins I'm going to be taking these ritual supplements so recently I've been taking these ritual essential for women's vitamins you're directed to take two of these a day and they're vegan dietary supplements they're super tiny and super easy to take more importantly I've also been taking these ritual symbiotic dietary supplements these are also vegan and you're instructed to take one daily symbiotics are not your average probiotics it's a three-in-one prebiotic probiotic and postbiotic and it is two of the world's most clinically studied probiotic strains because because quality is more important than quantity when it comes to a probiotic. I'm in the midst of my division one gymnastics season and junior year of college. That can undoubtedly get really, really stressful and things like stress can actually throw off your gut balance. This is why, especially now, it's really important for me to be implementing a daily probiotic in my vitamin routine. Although with other probiotics, I did experience some mild changes. I've noticed the biggest change with Ritual's Symbiotic Plus. I've noticed a decrease in bloating and also a major increase in gut health. With all of that said, thank you so much ritual for sponsoring today's video. I know this video is sponsored, but please, please, please trust me when I say that this stuff works. You guys can also use my code JuliaBiddell20 to get 20% off your first month. And you guys can also click the link in my description to shop these vitamins and all of Ritual's products. So I'm a big person on efficiency. Something that I do every single night before bed is pick out the clothes that I want to be wearing the next day. So this is today's outfit. This is today's practice outfit for gymnastics. And then this is today's post-practice, post-shower outfit. All right, really quickly I'm gonna get changed and I'll be right back so it's kind of hard to see the whole entire thing but this is today's OOTD I kind of wanted to go for something comfy but also cute so now we get to sit down and do some skincare also I'm very proud of my earring stack recently I got the whole thing from Ana Luisa really quick promo if you want to shop these second earrings right here those are the earrings that I co-created with Ana Luisa and you can shop them using the link in my description also nail check this middle one got a little bit messed up because I was doing this like sip and paint thing with my boyfriend for Valentine's Day but the Valentine's Day nail slay this is the first thing that I'm going to be going in with 
today. I don't know what has been going on with my skin recently, but she's kind of been struggling. And that's not to say that I don't recognize that I am blessed with relatively very clear skin, but I've just been feeling a little bit frustrated recently. It seems like every time that I get rid of a pimple and get rid of an acne scar, a new pimple just respawns on my face. And it's just kind of been making me feel not very good about myself. Like this one down here, not fun. New one up here. I have like all this like acne scarring here because you know, when you pair pimples with somebody that loves to pick pimples, it's not a good combo. I'm just gonna be going over that with some sunscreen. I feel like I've really been off my skincare grind recently. I think it's cause I ran out of a lot of my products and I've been wanting to try new stuff and like build a new skincare routine. But currently we're in that like weird middle ground where I haven't done that yet. I don't really have like a full routine down anymore. And I feel like I'm floundering a bit, but that's literally it. This is like the shortest morning skincare routine that I've ever done in my life. I just like don't have enough products, I feel. But I'm also gonna be going in with this like lash conditioner and really trying to grow my eyelashes recently. So it's 9.01 right now. And in order to be on time for my 10 a.m. class, I have to leave my dorm at like 9.20 to get breakfast from the dining hall. So I think I might do a little bit of makeup just because I feel like I need a pick me up recently. I guess while I'm doing my makeup, I can just chat with you guys about my recent just recents. So recently I've been on Swedish candy TikTok and I've been influenced. I did in fact purchase almost $30 of candy from this Swedish candy store located in Pennsylvania because obviously to get Swedish candy from Sweden, that would have taken forever. The second thing that I've really been enjoying is this website slash app that reads your PDFs to you. It's actually the most incredible thing I've ever stumbled across in my life. So at Brown, they love to assign a lot of really long readings for my classes. And I am like the world's slowest reader and I was getting really frustrated. I don't love reading. I really try to like convince myself that I do, but I simply don't. I just feel like it takes way too long. I feel like there's a much more efficient way to be doing it. And I figured out that that way is to be listening to it. And I know that audiobooks have been a thing for like the longest time, but I had yet to have found a platform that could convert like PDFs into audio. So I thought I just came up with this like brilliant groundbreaking idea. And after searching on Google for approximately two minutes, I figured out that it already existed. It's called Natural Reader, if you guys are curious. The last thing that I've been obsessed with recently has been grapes in brie. I went to the grocery store the other day with my friends to get one of my other friends a birthday cake because it was her birthday. And when we were at the grocery store, I just happened to stumble upon baby brie's and my life was changed. So I got some baby brie's, I got some grapes because I watched this girl on TikTok who eats baby brie and grapes all the time. And I was like, I gotta try this, tried it. I'm obsessed. Unfortunately, I tend to have a very expensive palate and I'm not so sure that the baby brie and grape diet is very sustainable for me, but it's nice to have every once in a while. Finishing this off by adding some color to my lips and we're done. It's 9.16. We're doing good on time, but we definitely gotta keep moving. This is my school bag. We're gonna pack it with everything that I need for today. All the clothes are going into the bag. Water bottle, AirPods, laptop and iPad. That's pretty much it bag is packed. I always go over here to like accessorize and admire these flowers that my mom gave me for Valentine's Day. Also, this is all of the stuff my boyfriend gave me for Valentine's Day. I'll show you guys really quick after because it's so freaking adorable. For today, I think I'm gonna be wearing these two rings. I always like to put this ring on my thumb. This is from my mom. It's like a gold and silver ring. And then this one with synthetic opal, I like to put on my middle finger. And then finally, I've been obsessed with this Jizu hair perfume. It smells absolutely heavenly. I just like to put a few spritzes of this in my hair every day. Okay, really quickly before I'm late, this is the activity that we did for Valentine's Day, which was a sip and paint. We basically both painted like half a canvas and it makes a full picture. So just like mirror this and that's what we did. So he has his, I have mine. And then he put together the most godly snack basket for me. This is so exciting. But anyways, it is 9.20 on the dot. I gotta get going. These are the shoes of the day. So the rest of my morning routine is just gonna look like me getting breakfast and then me going to class. And then that brings us to 11 11 a.m. which is where I'm going to end this video. And then as final touches, we have these Sony headphones. I had asked you guys for recommendations on my Instagram story because I was really looking for some good over the head headphones and y'all recommend these and I absolutely love them. They're the Sony WH-1005 or something, I don't know. But anyways, this is me ready for my day. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Your love and support really means the world to me. I gotta get going before I'm late to all of my things today, but I love you guys so much and please stay tuned for more videos in the future. Bye guys.